Hi, I'm Sean, and here we are on East Hill on one of the first lots that I worked on. Um, so this lot, for the most part, was pretty simple and straightforward, just using gravel and um, fill dirt to, to reset the, the headstones. But when we came to this marker, all we had were a few fragments. This marble piece was sitting on the ground, and this base was just barely exposed. So the first thing I did was uncover each piece, kept the marble piece off to the side, and looked a little bit further at the base. When I looked at the base, I noticed that it was a slotted base, so it means that another piece of marble or concrete or any kind of headstone would slide into that piece. And so I took this marble piece and de determined based on the width of this piece, piece and the marble fragments that were still left in the slot that they went together. Knowing that, I could then search around the, the rest of the cemetery and look for a tab and socket marker that was a similar size and proportions. When I found one, I kind of used that as my basis to then build this form. Um, so this is a cast concrete form. What I did was I brought this piece into the boiler room and constructed this form. Uh, so this is just a wood form. This is actually bordering from like garden edging and uh, got the basic proportions I wanted and wanted to make sure that when the marble piece was set in, that I would have ample and concrete around everything to hold everything in, in place. The other thing that I had to do was include a, a tab at the bottom that would then slide into the finished slot of the base. So with this form made, I then made a duplicate or a replica of the marble headstone because I didn't want to drop the marble into wet concrete. Um, so we make the form a little bit bigger, drop that in, pour the concrete, let it set for a few days, remove everything, remove the sides, and then dry set the, the marble uh, fragment. When the marble fragment was um, in the stone, in the, in the casing, you can see that there's about an inch of a gap that goes all the way around it. There's also about an inch of a gap behind the stone as well. That allows us to use a softer lime mortar um, to create a barrier around this. We do this because concrete is a very hard material and if a force was to act on this concrete and you know, shoot through the concrete, it would also damage the marble. By adding a buffer layer of a soft material, the lime is very soft, it allows us to um, protect the stone and also allows us to ever, if we ever need to in the future, take the stone out and add more pieces if we find more pieces in the ground or if we find that something else needs to be done to it. Once it was completed, I just used a tripod and a chain hoist to reset the stone and got it all level using um, gravel and fill dirt again, and then let it be and let it sit. Uh, now Gardens has begun to plant this section, so it's, it's really fitting into it and it's becoming a, a beautiful lot. 